Hey guys, Steven with KiwiBox here. To my right, Serena Ryder. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. Yeah. So, you just, um, you're about to release your new album. It's called Is It Okay? Yes. But there's no question mark in the end. There's no question mark at the end. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's because I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't necessarily want it to be, uh, it's the name of a song, right? And it's, it's more of a statement, you know, like the, the is it okay statement, the like, the balance between something being really, really horrible and something being really fantastic, you know, it's more along the lines of the middle ground, the is it okay, the like, the opening up to a conversation about something, you know? So, okay. so I, know, I just, I just, I didn't want to be. I didn't want to be asking a, a question necessarily with it. And it, and the more that I, the more that I think about it now, about not having a question mark after, is it okay? It, it bugs me. You know, it's something that would bug me if I if I were to if I were to you know have someone watch maybe this on the internet or yeah. something and, and then see an artist ex describing the fact that there is no question mark after, is it okay? I would be like. What are you trying to do? Are you a total wank? Really? Why Why not put the question mark? There's normally a question mark after a question. This so is I, I just, I guess I don't like how it looks, maybe. Uh, so you do have a little bit of regret for not putting the question mark on the end then? No, I didn't say that. Okay, okay. I said that if I were someone else watching me go through the process of trying to explain why there's no question mark, I would think it was a bit contrived. But it's not contrived. I just, I just didn't feel like putting the question mark. All right. That's my answer. Is that okay? I think, I think that's a good answer. Okay. Is that okay? <laughs> I think you're all good. So, um, this is, uh, what your, this is your third record, your third full length. Uh, uh full length. This is my fourth full length record. Okay. Yes. Fourth full length. Um, listening back to the first record that you originally came out with. Can you hear yourself kind of maturing over the years? What do you I, think of it? I was 15. Uh, yeah, so I definitely have gone from 15 to 25 in the last 10 years. Uh, if you could, I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely see a big difference in, yeah, yeah. in the songwriting and in the, you know, in just living life and shedding skin and all of those things, yeah. All right, so if you could, I... Uh, say one thing to your 15 year old self um, who's about to come out with their first album what would you warn yourself or say to yourself to kind of prepare you for what was next well I wouldn't really change much you know like if I had the opportunity I and even if I did have the opportunity I know as a 15 year old I wouldn't actually have the ears or the heart to listen and to actually take that knowledge you know it's like what I'm learning more and more and more, and it's something that's constantly said anyways, it's like you can never know until you actually experience something. Like there's a part of you, and, and you know, if you believe in past lives or if you believe in soul age, all of those things, which I do, you know, there's a certain part of you that is wise and that knows certain things, but to actually experience it and put your three-dimensional body through an experience is the only way to know. So, you know, and the more that I'm, the more that I'm living, the more that I know that I, I don't know as much as I thought I did. That everything that I was told growing up is pretty much a lie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you're known for doing covers. Uh, you came out with uh, a record of covers. Is that right? From Canada's top artists or standard songs that you enjoyed? Yeah, they were. They were. Um, a lot of them were really not well-known songs that I chose, and it was from 100 years, from 1867 to 1967, a confederation in Canada of artists. Uh, we went over like over 500 songs to choose from, and um, for me it was more of just a learning experience. I felt like I was at a point in my career where I, I really needed to, to evolve and just to like take in you know, uh, uh, to, to be schooled, you know, and I felt like it was a really good way to school myself. It's kind of how I started performing was I was, I was always a singer first. I started singing when I was seven, eight years old in legions and motor hotels and things like that, doing old cover songs, and that's how I learned, that's how I found my voice was through other people's voices. And um, so I felt that the beginning, that was the beginning of my career, and then I, I decided that, you know, I should probably go back to learn a little bit more. So for me, it was about embracing where I came from, from my, you know, the lineage of the Canadian songwriters, but also learning from these amazing songs that I felt like, you know, you, you listen to a song and you 
sometimes think that someone was in your head, you know, it's like, how could they know that that's exactly what you feel like, you know, it's like a lot of those songs felt that way to me, and and um, so I, I, yeah, I made the record and I learned so much, you know, the only way to learn, I think, is by immersing yourself and, and you know, by by just putting yourself in that situation and going through it, you know, so it was a great learning process and I did it, I did it to embrace my influences and to learn, and I, and I think I did, you know, a little bit, there's always more to learn. Okay, so... Your set is this afternoon at Lollapalooza. Um, are you planning on including any new covers, maybe uh, ones that you're you're uh, familiar with that you usually do during your shows? I'm gonna do all my own songs. All of them? Yeah, yeah, totally. Because okay. <laughs> I just finished a record of all my own stuff, and I'm I'm really excited about it, um, and I'm ready to I'm ready to tour my own on my own music now. And there's every once in a while I'll throw in a cover because you know it's fun for like an encore or something. But I'm, I'm I think I'm ready to speak from from personal experience. Wonderful. So when can we expect the album to come out? Um, it's gonna come out. It's gonna be available at the end of October. Um, like, well, there's gonna be like three song EP available, and then I think it's, the release date is in January here. They'll be released in Canada in November, so you could probably get it there first. Very cool. We will look out for it. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk. Thank you. Awesome.